Joe Budden has offered Ari Lennox an apology, though his tone and temperament suggest that he wasn't really serious. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Ari Lennox and Joe Budden are embroiled in a bitter dispute. All in all, it all began when Joe asserted that Lennox ought to be more appreciative of her chances. She had lately claimed that the Rod Wave tour had not been easy for her. Despite the fact that it's a major tour, she finds the arena grind difficult. To exacerbate the situation, she had also been struck with a water bottle. In any case, Budden wasn't very understanding, and he was very explicit about it on his podcast. In an industry that historically has not been great to women, now is not the time. For any woman out there to feel like they are under attack, unheard or not seen, Budden began. If I've ever added to that, and I want to do my best to change the trajectory. Following this message, Joe then transitioned into his insult, as he was clearly annoyed with Lennox. This chick is a bag of fucking mixed nuts. He said. This bitch is all the nuts combined. And I think she's done a great job of proving the exact point that I was trying to make in the last broadcast, and we shower her with love. I don't know what Joe Budden's obsession is with me. But what I will say is that somebody needs to tell him to stop touching them dogs, she began. He's weird and he's gross. He has smoke mouth. He's disgusting. And he's a failure like Drake said. Then, in response to Budden's remarks, Lennox declared he loves to oppose everybody, especially women, and threatened to sue him for $20,000. Okay, to sue him. I really should. Lennox's remarks on dogs are in reference to charges made against Budden by a previous partner, who stated that he engaged in sexual practices with his animal companion. Budden denied the accusations in a podcast broadcast, along with other charges of domestic abuse, I don't f dogs. I'm not here to talk to the people who believe I abuse the very women I have taken care of. It's just not who I am. It's not who I've been. And this comes off two weeks of me exposing some truths about different corporations Spotify, iHeart. I won't say that this is a calculated smear campaign because I don't think it's that calculated. I just think people are stupid. Joe Budden recently discussed his opinions on Young Miami's revolt show, Carisha Please, on the Need to Know podcast. He claims that since she hasn't released a new episode in a while, it might not be the case anymore. I love when they just... It's over now. Explained, noting how the podcast is a two-time award winner. She won the award two years in a row. He added. I don't care about that Damn. stuff. However. You know when there's a glitch in the Matrix. Button went on, cheerfully singing Queen's Another One Bites the Dust. And another one down, and another one down. <laughs> While the podcaster may be glad that Carisha Please could be over, fans would certainly be disappointed. Lado, Megan Thee Stallion, and other celebrities have been interviewed by Young Miami since the podcast started in June. Viewers have found it popular, since they enjoy Enjoy hearing the city girl's unvarnished opinions. But some of her peers weren't exactly overjoyed when she won Best Hip Hop Platform at the 2023 BET Hip Hop Awards. For instance, Charlemagne the God implied on The Breakfast Club that Diddy had manipulated events behind the scenes to help her win. In her defense, Young Miami said that her efforts in the pod earned her the award and that she deserved it. Although Button's claim has not been verified, Young Miami is now working on another intriguing project for fans if it turns out to be true. It was announced earlier this week that BET will be the home of Young Miami's reality show, which is currently titled A Day in the Life of Miami. Although the official premiere date has not yet been announced, fans are undoubtedly eager. Charlemagne the God and Noor, one of the most well-known figures in hip-hop media, aren't overjoyed that Young Miami is receiving more credit than them. Fans watched as numerous musicians received awards for their achievements to the genre during the 2023 BET Hip Hop Awards broadcast. City Girls also appeared on stage and performed two of their songs, No Bars and Face Down. Just before the release of their new album, Raw, the duo seemed to be as radiant as ever. They claim that the album is expected to be released this month, but the precise release date is yet unknown to the public. At the 2023 BET Hip Hop Awards on Tuesday, Carisha Please won the Best Hip Hop Platform Prize, defeating competitors like Drink Champs, The Breakfast Club, Million Dollars Worth of Game, and The Joe Budden Podcast. In the early hours of Wednesday, Noor tweeted, So nobody gonna say nothing about the Podcast Media Award. OK me neither Charlemagne the God recently shared his take on the situation, suggesting that someone besides Young Miami was behind her win. This hip-hop platform, Carisha Please. We won. gotta stop. He said as his co-host read the winner out loud. Love Young Miami to death, but come on now, two years in a row. Like, I got mad love for Carisha, but you've got platforms that come out daily. And you got platforms that come out weekly. You he know continued, suggesting that Diddy pulled some strings to allow for her to win. But was that sponsored by Dalion? Charlemagne also addressed the loss a little later on air. Report. If Carisha Please did come out weekly. I won't have a problem with it, you know what I'm saying. Because it is that good when she drops, right? Right, but I just don't see enough of it. For her to win Hip Hop Platform of the Year two years in a row. Without directly addressing him, the City Girls rapper appeared to clap back at the Breakfast Club host, tweeting, I love Carisha but bitch take your hating ass on. 
Ain't no but bitch. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.